All right, shalom, shalom. This is the brother Danya Allah coming back again with another lesson, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Arakakadash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and shalom to the hopeful elect. And um, basically, uh, just going to do another in transit here while I'm on my way to my destination. Um, you know, basically all the same things that are going on in today's world, today what uh, this devil is doing concerning our people, uh, concerning the world, is, is nothing new. It's just been uh, increased to a, uh, a different level. That's a lot. Let me uh, close these windows. It's just been increased to a different level. You know, um, you know, for example, uh, for example, um, you know, the uh, man made uh, uh, food shortages, man. You know, this devil is, uh, you know, basically making it, um, making it seem like there is a, uh, you know, a food shortage. Okay, or basically he's he's putting our people in a situation to where if you don't comply, you can't get food and resources. Okay, you know, today's age, our people are used to uh, going to the store and getting food, you know, to the storehouse and buying food from there. You know, we're not, uh, you know, especially uh, in the urban areas, the cities, you know, they're not used to... Uh, farming right a lot of people don't farm their own stuff you might have a, a couple of people here and there that have their own gardens that they eat from but for the majority almost uh for the majority of the people that live in the city in the uh urban areas they don't farm okay they don't farm for their own food they go to the store and buy it so what this devil is doing is he's taking you know the necessity of food and water and cause and and putting our people in straits okay you have to take this jab you have to take this juice in order to get it to, to get food and resources okay so it's almost the uh, same thing when they besieged us okay uh, around the time of 70 AD Jerusalem they starved all the people out all right they starved them out and they, then they were conquered you know so it's almost the same thing even now with this NWO this new world order they have uh, they have um, what they want to do is unify all the people together this is no different from what they did in um, ancient Greece and in ancient Rome Rome you know, you could read that in First Maccabees, uh, the first chapter, around about the 39th or 40th verse, where that uh, Antiochus Epiphanes made the decree that all should be one people. Okay, all should be one people, and should consent unto uh, and be converted unto his religion. So they want they want that to be the same thing today. Now to unify and connect all people around the world together under the same agenda which is that that's what that's worshiping the the image having everybody to worship the image of the beast following the philosophies all right the behavior the conduct of ancient rome right which you know the greeks and the romans were the same nation okay but it's the same it's the same thing and they want to unify everybody by way of what this karagma okay that's how they want to unify everybody just how the Lord is unifying all the elect by way of what his word okay and all all Israel are going to be uh, 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 um, together and, uh, um, and on one accord be as one in agreement okay upon what the scriptures okay according to the new covenant the Lord is going to write the law statutes and commandments within our inward parts every last one of us Okay, the elect that go into the kingdom first, and then the two thirds that are um, that are born, okay, from the elect, 
So that's what uh you know this devil is is, is trying to do. Okay, so it's it's nothing new. You know, um, this is what they did in ancient Greece. You could say that ancient Greece was a melting pot. You could say that Rome was a melting pot. And also, furthermore, you know, America is called the melting pot. Where you have all kindreds and nations and tongues, okay, here in America. And that's the that's what the scriptures talk about. Um, the, the great whore that sitteth upon many waters. The waters represent all these... Uh, the, the Israelites and all these other nations, all the nations, okay, on the planet Earth that um, are here in America, okay, that come to America and that dwell here in America and, and, and make their profit from America, okay, the, the melting pot, okay, so, and, you know, that's the thing they promote and push, you know, America, the um, land of the brave and home of the free, you know, which is a lie. So this is this is no different from what this devil has done in the past, you know, and then to furthermore to push this uh, this agenda. What who does he use this? Who does he use? He's always used people who are in position of power to influence people. OK, so that's who he uses in order to um, to push forth his agenda. OK. That's what he uses to push forth his agenda. So, you know, for this whole uh, jab, you know, in the past he's used uh, presidents. You know, uh, President uh, George Washington he used to uh, push forth the um, what is it the uh, the jab for the um, what is it smallpox. I think it might have been smallpox or um, or uh, or is it measles? One of those. You can you can look it up, you know, and put it in the comment section, you know, for the brothers that will watch. Um, right. So they would use different presidents, different celebrities, okay, people who had influence and fame amongst the people, in order to push their agenda. So, like the scripture said, they were that lead the cause either error. So they use our people to push taking this jab they use our people to push forth or to you know to prepare their minds for what the um the uh the uh, uh, uh the karagma man you know this certain uh digital technology you know that uh, uh certain celebrities use to push forth that you know to try and make it seem like uh it's interesting and the new cool is the new trend you know, they use our people to do that. Okay? And same thing with any agenda. Okay? The uh, the, the ABC agenda. The, uh, you know, uh, men wearing dresses. Okay, whatever it may be. Women being uh, hoes, man. Whatever it may be, they use our people to push it. Okay? So, that's uh, nothing new. This is what this devil has always done. This is what this devil has always done, man. Like the scripture says, uh, we are not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. Okay? The Lord has revealed on us through the Holy Spirit, through the scriptures, okay, through our teachers, okay, of, of these devil's plans. The scripture also say what? And, and this is part of the reason why we're not ignorant of his devices, is what? That, you know... Um, one, this devil records everything. He writes everything down. Okay. And then it gets leaked by those who are of his same group, who is a part of their uh, conspiracy. You got something called whistleblowers. And that's in the scriptures. It says what? They shall make their tongue to fall upon themselves. Right. And they which see the uh, shall flee away, man. So, hey, the, um, the other nations... Okay, and our people too. Our people are going to see it when it's too late. Okay, but these other nations are going to see how much of a devil this guy is, man. Okay, the uh, the scripture says what? And the beast uh, shall hate the whore and shall burn him with fire. So really, that beast is the power system of the modern day Rome. Rome 2.0, America, NATO, and the EU, right? 
So these other nations, okay, are going to be uh, shooting fire over here, man. Okay? Because the beasts are, are comprised of those nations of NATO and the, of the EU, man. All right, and also other nations, other heathen nations are going to uh, shoot missiles over here. Okay? So, like the scripture says, there's nothing new under the sun. And this is just an upgraded version of everything that uh, has been done in the past. But this is this is going to be the worst time uh, ever. Like it says in Daniel, the 12th chapter. Such as a time uh, uh, like never before since there was a nation. So, you know, with that, you know, I'm going to end off my in transit. I'm almost to my destination. I'm going to say Shalom.